Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 18th of January in the time and I've got a new battery in the clock but I just haven't put it back on the wall yet it's almost 1.40 in the afternoon and we are back on that custom RM all-in-one build because I've got a pile of bits here I've already opened two so I've got the extension cables here that I needed I'm actually glad they're not any longer than that because I don't need them much longer than that and this morning the um, USB 3 bay arrived right uh, one thing I do need to do is just to move some boxes off the worktop I'm wondering why there's like two stacks of cat food boxes here they've actually got um, ten corky cars in each I um, went through my box of corgi, split them down into job lots of ten and put them all on eBay. Unfortunately, I know it's only been a little over 24 hours now since I put them up. Uh, very few views on them. Um, there's a couple there that's had literally one or two views and there's a bunch of them that haven't had any. But I have got bids on a few other unrelated die-cast items, so... Right. I'm just getting the uh, machine into position. I've got at least one, two screwdrivers. That's good. I just won't worry about getting the... No, actually, I won't worry about those yet. Let's get this... Uh... USB free bay. One thing I do like about little projects like this, even though they serve no real purpose, um, they're not that expensive and they're quite fun to do. Oh, we've have got an escapee screw. It's actually managed to wiggle its way out of the bag somehow. <laughs> I hate these little Ziploc bags. They are handy, but I just find them so annoying to try and open them. So I'm hoping that the uh, cable here is actually going to be long enough to go in there and plug in there. It should be... Oh, actually, that should be really easy. So I can just shove that up there, right beside the speaker. And then that will plug in there. Then all I've got to do is mount it into this. I hope. Uh, That might pose a small problem. The holes do line up on this. But the problem I've got is I need to put the screws in the two back ones, but they don't go far enough back for these. So I may actually end up having to get a drill out and a marker pen and trying to drill a couple of new holes. Let's up, hasn't it? Let me just make sure I can actually slide this all in here. Sliding in there now. It's got to go there. It's got to go there. I don't even think my side cover thing is gonna. So I was just thinking maybe I can get away without the screws if I just put this on. Uh, 
no, I think that's going to wobble around a bit too much, but at least I know the cable's going to fit. So we'll come back to that then. I bet that Hot Wheels car I've got to post is not going to fit into this, is it? I can't remember where I put it. I'm not going to fit in there, are you? Uh, it's not quite deep enough, unfortunately. I'll have to find something else. Don't worry about that later. Right. So this should be as simple as just plugging that into there. This into there. I'm going to worry about cable management in a little bit. I'm just going to get these cables in and. Make sure it all works first. What's a good idea to make sure things work before you finalise everything? Okay, that's got to go that way in. I think you're blocking the view a little bit, Smudgy. And that goes. Into there. Right. Monitor's connected, I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. Over here I should have a nice power cable. It's first time being um, fired up with that power supply as well, so hopefully it's all going to work. Now, that power supply does not have an external switch. Uh, so I need you better have some peripherals connected. Yeah, those little bits of rubbish. One, where's the mouse? I'm sure it was here somewhere. It's here, right in front of me. Okay. I've got the terabyte hard drive disconnected time being because I need it to boot from the SSD so it doesn't get confused. Well that's new, the power light has gone red. What's the power light? I swear that was blue. Does that change colour depending on which way I flip the cable? It's working. Certainly a faster boot. Okay, everything seems to be working. I think it's just a case of sorting that out, a bit of cable management. In fact, uh, I'm just going to plug this terabyte drive back in. formatting and I might actually have to change the SATA cables uh, I may have to do that later because I may have to swap the SATAs over no I don't what I need to do is just turn that around and I've just unplugged the CD drive oh I haven't even tried that one yet have I Right, so it 
Basically, it's going to go from that way round. So it's going to be long enough. Come on. Just making sure I am trying to put it on the correct way up. Internet. Uh, hopefully then. Keep forgetting the scroll wheel don't work on this particular mouse. I have no idea what just happened there. No system control panel. Oh no, I don't want to go to that, do I? Uh, wrong thing! This PC you know, should bring up two drives. So this should be a one terabyte hard drive. Actually, taking a while to load it, so I'm going to assume it is Lenovo F. Detecting, seeing the DVD drive at least. That Lenovo F has actually got something on it. That is. I haven't got. There's nothing connected. Don't tell me it's not actually going to do anything until that gets up to the end there. Oh, um. Right. Turn the back lines for a minute. Once doing that. See if I can uh, find a way to solve this little issue. Ah! The disaster may have been averted. In a moment. Four screws in the bag. Is that an extra one then? <laughs> Is that just a fifth extra screw or something? I just realised I should be able to mount it like this now. Didn't realise that there's a mountain hole up this end on the drive. So I've just got to get a couple of screws to. Do it that uh, yet? Yeah, that's lining up nicely. Are you doing anything yet? No. Nope. I'll give it till I've actually got this fitted. If it doesn't, I'm just going to shut it down. But then. Try and sort some cable management out. Okay, that's it. That can now go back up and around the speaker. So that goes. Screw. 
It's this one. Yeah. That mounted on. I think this might stick out a little bit further than the DVD drive. Does that open? Oh, it does. Sweet. smaller headed screws are for. Actually, you know what? That's actually sitting in there. Perfect. So, I'll be able to do it for this. I think that's the wrong screw. Not. I think that top panel in here is going to be a bit of a pain to get in. I'm guessing I didn't really need to take the top two screws out then. a bit of plastic to play with. A bit of fun. like one of them little nooks which isn't easy to get to when it's on the machine. Here we go. Probably not going to make it fit any easier or any better but wondering if I need to put this on. Yeah, I think I do. I need to put that on before I put the side panels on. Okay. I'm going to whip both of these off. No smudge. I could do this a lot easier if you had your butt out of the way. Still not doing anything. Let's keep a shut down. Ah. May have actually completely knackered. I, yeah, I did. I'm going to have to find a slightly longer SAR cable than that. That might have been what the issue was. Didn't realise I'd put that much strain on that. I've got it. redonkulously long ones in there, I think. Is 
that cold today. I've had to resort to putting my heating on. Get your beak out, I'm nuts. care about much does he? <laughs> there we go. Right. So yeah, I'm fairly set on. That has to go in somehow something. Like that. These end panels clip over it. Like that. For now, I'm just going to put one screw in the middle. Yep, that side is on. Let's have a crack at this side. Hope not literally a crack. One side on and the other side pops off. Uh, let's put a screw in the bottom at least. to have that under there. A little screw, I need that. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to squeeze any more cables into this little clip up here. We are about to find out. Okay. 
it to latch. I actually thought I had. Never say that that side connector is not very good. I haven't got anything with like clip clips on. Ideally, with uh, straight ends on each, and not leave the frickin' screws alone, you little bugger. Piss off. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything short with the clips on. So many of them have got the bloody angles. Get off. You're now starting to pee me off. Buzz off. Go. Leave. <laughs> He's like, do that again and see what happens. <laughs> All the ones with you know, a straight end on each one don't have the bloody clips. So I might just have to make do, I guess. Because it just feels a wee bit loose fitting in that. Mind you, it was working, it was booting fine, wasn't it? Alright, dumbass, what did I just do with the other? Had another lug there is. And so I had another lovely short one. Wires, that is the problem. Mind you, they don't really need holding in place. This one does. Like that. And then just tuck that down there because that should actually hold these other header wires and whatnot in place. Get our front panel wires. Should all be good. I should be able to put all of these back in here. It's all getting caught up around the mouse cable and whatnot and keyboard cable. I've got one of these on the floor and pick it up in a bit. I just need to do a little something with this really, don't I? Just a cable tie through that, I think. Clear one will do, just poke that through. Get one in picked up.
and tuck that power cable up there out of the way. Okay. I've got one screw in each of these side panels, haven't I? Let's, let's try and get the others in. I'm sure this is meant to clip in. No, it's meant to have screws in it, isn't it? Hence the screw holes. Screw holes up the screws don't go in. Why aren't they going in? Has that got it? That's got it. This one in place. And then maybe I'm not really fussed if it doesn't hold it together properly. Just uh, don't click in very well at the top. One more for this side. Have should have one more in the top as well. Which I have got. Can I get to it though? Because the uh, power cable does not fit. It does not fit. Power cable is in the way. It's where my brain just does not work sometimes. I must have put all the screws in, there we go. Alright. Before I forget. Try it now, shall we? Will it actually boot or is it going to throw a little bit of a hissy? get confused with the two boot drives. Uh, no, is it booting? But is it booting from the correct drive? It would appear so. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm not worried about that one broken SATA on there. Um, you know, I can't really plug anything else into it anyway. I think I am... <laughs> I am pretty much uh, maxed out. As far as upgrading goes, let's see if we can get any interwebs, shall we? If I can find the RJ45 socket. There we go. It should all work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Right. Have another crack at the hard drive, shall we? Ah, it's actually detecting something on the E drive now. That is the one. I want to format. It might take a while because it is a one terabyte drive. Or it might just do it that quick. Okay. What is this? Drivers. Audio BT camera card reader. That must be a partition for one of them drives then. You seem to have it interwebs connected. Well, it says so down there anyway. Let's go 
YouTube. It's loading it. So we have onboard audio. because I've got everything connected Ooh, not everything connected but no sound Turned up. We've got muted. Audio is turned up. So is that like the master volume down here, or is that just for the front audio? That's actually a point. Where's my headphones gone? Um. SAT cables are annoying. I have a nice set of headphones around here somewhere. I just wanted to uh, plug them in the front there and just see if the front audio is working. Because maybe onboard speakers don't work. We have to go through the uh, rear speakers. Well, look at that, it's all working. You just got conked on the head with a hammer. I bet that hurt. I don't know why that update is still failing. Or is it still counting down and it hasn't tried yet? Right. Can't miss the headphones, they're a big over ear pair. I'll have to just try those later and hopefully remember to update that in the uh, video description. Oh, another SAR cable, another SAR cable. Are you trying to chase it? No, I just tried to, um... I don't know what's going on with Discord. I'm too worried about Discord though. I do believe... I'm just going to check... that we are registering... all the 10 gigs of RAM. I'm guessing it just did a graphics driver update. Yep. 9.87 gigs usable. It's a G3260 3.3 gigahertz a processor. I'm actually going to note that down. Because I want to Google that myself. I can't actually find something that I can write on. I had a pen in here. If not, that doesn't matter. I can uh, I'll just grab one from the lounge in a bit. 
Đúng không? I couldn't find something just to poke in the doohickeys there. See if they work. The USBs. Uh, I've got anything up here. Just a, a USB, a USB, a USB memory stick or something. Just to yep, we're working at the front. I have no idea if there's actually anything on this. What about these ones? Yep. Everything is good. Everything's very good. I've just got to button up the back now. Your no you're sticking your nose on that fan, aren't you? That's what I can hear. You dipstick. <laughs> I heard this. I don't know if you picked it up on the camera or not, but I heard the sound of, you know, when you put your finger on a fan or something. That's what I could hear from behind here. And that dipstick is sticking his snout on it. Leave that. <laughs> Let's shut this down before he jams that up and... You must have heard that one. <laughs> oh hey, not chewy fan wires. Get off. Don't chew that, you dipstick. That's the mains wire. Why is this not shutting down? Because of that. That looks like it was. Right. I'm not going to bore you by putting the cover back on. That one not what quite. It's all right. Did have these wires tucked all in there quite nicely out of the way. Well, someone decided to pull on them. There. It's all in. There's the back cover. I can't put that on yet because I'm not unplug all these. Have I got a spare fan header for that? I'm sure I have. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right, yeah, by the CMOS battery. She just goes on there like that with a few screws. I think this end might be a bit of a problem with those cables. Do you think someone's after some attention? There that keep getting trapped. The green one especially that keep getting trapped. Okay, so once I've got that cable out of the way, this should should it all go on. Case fan there. I could probably bodge another one on there if I want to, because I bodged that one on there basically. Just matched up a couple of these uh, vent holes with a couple of screw holes in the fan. Sticks on. 
the lining up now, but as long as the cover is on, I don't care. One side actually clipped on. Play with that later. And there we go, all complete and working. I've got a feeling I may end up taking these plastics off again. At least these end ones, because I'm pretty certain they are not lining up properly. I don't know, I'll just have to have a play with it later. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video or at least found it somewhat interesting. You know, if anything, we know it's possible to breathe life into these, or, yeah, breathe new life into these older machines and still make them usable today. Although, we didn't use the original hardware, did we? I didn't use the uh, original motherboard and I actually realised that the motherboard I took out of this was actually the original for the machine and I'm pretty certain I said in the other video it wasn't um, I only found out it was because off camera I uh, powered it up and it came up with the uh, RM logo and whatnot before it went into the BIOS, so obviously it was the uh, motherboard for it. Anyway, I'm rambling, so thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you did like what you've seen and you want to see more, remember to hit the uh, subscribe button. It's totally free, doesn't cost a penny at all. Um, and if you do, remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, and if you uh, check the video description down below the video, you might have to click show more on a mobile device. There will be links to my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server and my Twitch channel. So feel free to check those out as well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.